Hello, welcome to a video that I'm going to call an afterthoughts after the unboxing. What do you think? Does that work? Mm, we'll see. So it's going to be pretty much like the video that I did before this. And we did an unboxing video and thank you everyone for those comments and everything. It just really means a lot. And I'm glad that it was entertaining for you guys because I really don't really write any of this stuff down or plan any of this. So it's kind of... As you know, if you do these videos, you just start doing the camera and then you have what you have. So, this is also going to be a way of doing my version of shoutouts as well without actually giving shoutouts. But if you know your comment or you go to the video and you see the comments, then you'll know who I'm talking about. But that way, if you're not comfortable with your comment or are comfortable with me naming you, you can always go back and take it off if you need to. But Anyway, so I'm going to show the figures off as best as I can. Still working on the lighting and everything. Just need stronger light bulbs or something, I think. But that right there is the Cobra Infantry Viper. And the damage is mostly right there on this one. And then right there. And we'll get into that more later in the video, but... So there's that, and then there's the second one, and same thing with him, he's got a crease along here, but cool thing is he is an army builder, I'm not 100% sold on those arm guards and I don't know why that is, but I think out of all the Cobra Vipers that they've made, this is the best one, and um, yeah, so, and then we have Snake Eyes, right here. And looks pretty good all around that one. And then there's the second one. And I still haven't gone through and seen which uh, ones have the best paint applications and all that kind of stuff, but this one doesn't have any damage on it. And then we have another one that I'll talk about later when we get into the comments. And that one looks pretty good. And that is my first um, Rock Viper, also another infantry. There's my second one. And he looks like if I do end up opening him, he'll be the one that I open because there's the damage right there. And then this one I'm really, you know, I don't really have any connection to him. So I'm really hesitant of opening him and I don't really get too much excitement out of him. But it's mostly because of all the other figures in all the waves. He seems to be the one that gets the least amount of equipment, but I guess it kind of makes sense because he is Crazy Legs, the Assault Trooper, and he doesn't come with one, but the idea is that he's parachuting out of a plane, so that's why he's in that position. So that one looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit of damage right there. And here's the second one and thinking he's the best one again just looking at the corners haven't really looked at all the creases that some of the previous figures from the other wave had and then we have the iron grenadier got kind of a crease right there but again if I do end up opening him that's okay because that one will be the one that I open all lined up except for this guy right here so here's the second iron grenadier and I say grenadier but I think it's grenader 
Grenadier is how I think you really say that. I think Iron Grenadier sounds better. So, either way, <laughs> you guys know who I'm talking about. So, uh, there's the bend right there. But I guess Grenadier does sound like grenade, right? So, then we have the Crockmaster right here. And we'll get into him in the comments as well. And his crease is right there. And again, it's all because Hasbro doesn't ship these in a box within a box, in my opinion, or do any like bubble wrap or anything like that. And the reason I'm sure is because to save you and them, or mostly them, money. And there's the damage. But if you've ever called Hasbro and had an issue with it, pretty much their whole argument is that as long as the toy is in good condition, no broken pieces, not missing anything, in their opinion, they've given you what they make. They make toys. And as long as the toy is okay, that's all that matters. But sometimes you get some collector things with some damage. And I'm not talking about these. You know, I'm talking about actual items that are like special edition and blah 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 and so it's like well if it's that special then treat it like it's special so let's get into those comments so again I will in the future name you when you give me the okay after this video is up to okay, you know mention you in my videos um, so the first one is so super super great and if you go check him out, uh, you know, he's more of like a, almost an independent movie maker, in my opinion. So definitely go check him out. Um, and there's another one being how nice the unboxing was or how cool the unboxing was. And we talked about how the bent cards are happening and that's, that's sad, you know. But hopefully these will hit stores and you'll be able to find better cards. Um, then we have, I'm glad you guys understood my kind of joke there with the whole fingers thing. Um, then of course this one is from my best friend Dave, one of three nights. So definitely um, really cool. He says that he doesn't want to get the uh, new Viper, but I would actually suggest that if you want to that you really do because one of the issues that they had when the Viper came out was his hands were molded in a certain position and it just it looked good while he was holding the gun but not when he's just standing there so I think that's a good reason to get another one if you already have previously released ones I'm not sure about the Hall of Fame one because that one um, I don't own then it says um, about the Crockmaster, and the idea with the Crockmaster is the revision cases are going to have him in Python Patrol colors. So instead of being yellow and black, he will be, I believe, red and black, if I'm not mistaken. But um, the Python Patrol colors is what he's going to be in, and I'm not really sure if I'm sold on that figure but I'm sure that will look more interesting maybe than this one even though I don't remember what Crockmaster looked like um, before when he was released for the 25th anniversary line and then um, yeah they were expensive but I ended up getting them off of Hasbro and they had a 10% and sometimes if you get lucky enough you can get free shipping and 20% off. So if you keep an eye out for those things, and if you go to some of the websites, they do put up those promo codes. Um, not Hasbro, but other people find them and put them up. So maybe keep an eye on a thread that says Hasbro promo um, codes, and then you might be able to get a good deal. Um, another great comment saying I was funny, so thank you. I'm glad... My mistakes were more funny than, <laughs> like, ah, how come you didn't make a perfect video? So, thank you for that. 
Then there's another comment about how much do you think the army building, you know, works with the rock viper. And maybe if you think of him like Blowtorch and think of him as a different character, then cool. Or maybe there's some dioramas that you can think of for him. Then maybe, but he won't be one of the figures that, at least right now, I'm not thinking about army building because, I don't know, maybe once I open him and have a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time with him, then maybe I'll change my mind. But And then there's another one that says... Great unboxing, so thank you very much for that. It says other things, but we'll get into that later. Um, talked about the Crackmaster issue. Stink Eyes I do understand, but he does come with some cool new weapons, and those helmets are really great to have. So I'm okay with this new Snake Eyes. Uh, definitely great that other people are excited about August and what we get in August. And then there's a question about, did I pre-order the Sky Striker? And no, I haven't. And again, that's kind of a money thing. Maybe if HasbroToyShop.com has a good deal again, maybe I'll get it off there. But I think it's going for $27.99 or something like that in stores. And some of the lower um, priced online stores are selling it for like anywhere between $29.99 to $37.99 so every little bit helps when you're a collector and you know you are buying toys so um, yeah I think that's pretty much it and hopefully I didn't go over and thank you guys for all your comments and I will see you all later so thank you as always for rating commenting and subscribing but of course thank you very much for allowing me to share a little bit more about what this toy collector is about than just playing with toys Alright, we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.